What's up, all you beautiful? Yeah, just six people out there. Welcome back to the Raiders franchise. And today we're facing off against the Washington Redskins. But before we get into anything, let's recap a little bit as we do every week. This week, we're going into this game, week four, and we're 3 0, guys. That's right. We're 3 0 with the Raiders. We never thought we'd get to this point. I thought I'd be at least 10 and 6. I thought I'd have a subpar season. But so far, we've done great. We've done terrific. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Now last week, we faced off against the Broncos. Peyton Manning, the forehead himself, and we held him down. We didn't hold him down yardage, because he threw all over us. But we prevented the touchdowns. We beat them 31-20, to I believe. They scored a last second pity touchdown. So discounting that, we blew them out of the water. You see here, I thought I was going to get picked right away. I thought I was going to start off this game tremendously. Get that interception, return it, do a little dance into the end zone, start things off great. Great. So guys, we're going into this game. We're 3-0. I'm hoping to get that win number four. I'm hoping to set myself terrifically for the playoffs. And we have things going correctly for us. You see there's my starting defense. That's the group I'm using right now. Only right now. There's Hopefully things are going to be changing. But we'll get into that in a little bit. I know you're excited. You're amped up. You're pumped. You're dancing. You're, you're just ready. Anyways guys, let's talk about Washington. This season Washington didn't do great in real life I think they only won a couple of games they weren't great at all and in this particular Madden season they're 0-3 that's right they're putting the fear of God in me I was so scared when I see Washington was on my schedule and I leveled the boom to that dude but I was so scared of Washington I thought they were gonna own me but you see here as I get a little replay for you guys you ready he's trying to get to the outside and boom hit stick dropped him to the floor anyways I thought Washington was gonna be great I thought they were gonna be good I even thought they were gonna be good in real life this season it turns out they weren't so we're going to hang into this game they're 0-3 they haven't won a game they have a big old goose egg in the win column and I'm gonna make sure that streak continues I'm gonna make sure they cannot beat us at all you see there they get flagged they're forced to point punt and they give me the ball right off the bat their first series stalls and they're giving us the ball which is a major mistake so basically guys I want to make sure we give them a goose egg you see my starting offense right there I want to make sure they don't win they cannot win we cannot allow it so as always we, we can have a game plan we always have a game plan you gotta be a strategist you gotta be ready for whatever comes your way you gotta roll with the punches you see here I'm gonna audible because I see their safety creeping up I know it's a blitz so I'm gonna hit forward in the out real quick get the ball out real quick when you know there's a blitz coming <laughs> that gives me nice setup something all right we're rolling we're ready to go I hit that pass and I'm thinking I'm gonna thread the needle and I get intercepted so guys you're wondering right now frosty what's your game plan you go for over for us every week what's your game plan for the Redskins guys on defense we have to contain RG3. He's a runner. He runs around. He's elusive out there. He's doing one, going one way, and then all of a sudden he's going another way. And we need to stop that. We need to shut him down if we can. We need to break his leg. Not really. Don't, don't, well, maybe a little bit. Just for this game. Break his leg. Take out his other ACL. Do it, guys. Do it. But we need to contain RG3. We need to make them throw the ball to win. Right there, they beat me through the air. They got that touchdown. So we're down seven to nothing. To start the game so we need to contain rg3 we need to prevent them from being explosive because they do have an explosive offense they have pierre garçon they have i think alfred morris is his name they're running back they have a pretty solid offense and we need to shut that down to the best ability we can the best way we can and in order to do that we're gonna have to bring blitzes we're gonna have to bring zones and bring zone blitzes mix it up bring in some man coverage i can do this this week because i'm not scared i'm not scared of rg3 and his throwing ability he there's no way he's gonna beat me through the air so we can blitz him we can level him to the ground i bust off a nice 28 yard run here and i'm setting it up i'm setting up the ground inbound the ground inbound and then i'm gonna get to the outside with Terrell Pryor. after i ground or pound them one way i'm gonna ground the other way or spread it out the other way so it's the second quarter guys no an offense we need, as always, we need to get that ground and pound going. I want to punch them. I want to level them to the floor, and then I'm going to knock them out. <laughs> that's a, that's always a game plan. We have a great running attack, and even I mix in the fullback this game. 
So we have a great rain attack. We need to get that going. We need to get everything going. I'm in the red zone here. And of course, you know I'm going to punch it in. Touchdown, baby. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Kiss the crowd. That's right, baby. Touchdown. We're going to tie the game up right here. Now to continue our offensive goals for this week, we need to spread them out a little bit. They have a base 4-3, I do believe. So we need to make sure that their 4-3 doesn't stop our running game. And we need to just keep hammering it. I might... I might have to check because they might run a 3-4. And a 3-4 is perfect for running against. <laughs> and, of course, we need to be – I think we're going to be less balanced this week. We're not going to have a bounce attack as we usually do. We're just going to ground it. We're going to rub or slam that ball down their freaking throat. And that's what we're going to do this week. And, of course, we need to get TP on the edge. We need to get Terrell Power loose. He is going to go loose. He's going to have a great running day. And I get an interception with – Jenkins, his second interception in two weeks. He picks that off. He jumps up. He leaps up. He's like a springboard, and he plucks that ball out of the air. And I'm pumped. I'm ready. We're we're tied right now, and I know this is our go-ahead. This is what's going to get us the W. Interceptions, turnovers, and then you know what's going to happen now. I got the ball. There's less than three minutes left in the half. I'm going to make sure we score. I hit them with a little screen. It doesn't work. So I'm like, all right, guys, we got this. So I'm going around curl, and I hit Ford in the flat. And you see here, I got nothing but green space. He's to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. They're catching up to me, and no, there's a touchdown. Touchdown. Jacoby Ford goes 60 yards to give us another touchdown. So, guys, you, you know what's going to happen. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Na, 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 na. Getting jiggy with it. <laughs> but we get another touchdown. So, we're up. 14 to 7. Or we're going to be up 14 to 7. Next little re replay. They caught me at the end, but I was already gone. They had no hope. Jacoby Ford, I think, is like a 97 in speed. They had nothing going for him. Now they try to start the running game, and that doesn't work. So you know they're going to be threading the ball. They're going to thread the needle. They're going to be passing it. They're going to hit me with that no huddle, and I'm not ready for it. My fatties are chugging along. They're huffing and puffing and trying to get down the field. And they hit a nice, I think, 20 yard pass on me. And there's a minute 40 left. I'm ready. I'm pumped. We're going to make sure that we stick to our game plan. We're going to stick to containing RG3. Make sure he doesn't break loose on us. And I should have gotten an interception there. I should have turned around, but I was too late. I failed. I'm sorry. Forgive me, guys. Just forgive me. Okay. So it's third and seven. We're third and seven. I'm running, I think, a zone. I'm sticking to the zone. And that interception I had earlier was because I ran a zone. So we stopped them. We stop them, we hold them to basically to punt the ball away, and I get the ball back. I'm ready. It's time to go up by three scores, guys, or two scores, actually. It's time to go up by two scores. So this half, basically, we've been running the ball very well. I think McFadden has 50 yards on the ground already. I'm threading the needle. I'm doing the stuff I need to do besides that first series, which was the stalemate. Nobody was doing anything. I hit a nice little curl out there, and I get 11 yards. So besides that first series, we've been running the ball tremendously. We hit that long pass, that explosive pass to give us the lead, and now I'm driving down the field. I'm hitting passes in the flat. I'm trying to get out of bounds. I'm trying to get that going. Besides that bigger interception, we didn't really make that too many mistakes here. We didn't make too many mistakes in this half which was great. And we've been getting pressure on RG3. We've been forcing him to make errors. We got that interception from him. We picked that ball off. So I'm excited. I'm ready. I know. I know right now. If we can continue this, if we can keep this up, we're going to get the W. So right now, I hit that play action, and I, sh I should have hit him, but Trail Pyre can't throw the freaking ball, and he screws me over. But, you know, we're okay. We're okay. It's it's fine. Goose, Fraba. It's It's fine. So we hit that. We hit that vertical, and now there's 14 seconds left. I'm thinking, do I want to go for the touchdown, or do I want to, you know, play it safe, kick a field goal if I can? I was going to try to hit, I think, Morris in the in the streak, but I couldn't get him, so I hit the safe route, and then I kick a field goal to put us up, guys. We're up by 10 going into the half, and not to mention, we get the ball back, so be afraid. So we're up 17-7. to I'm ready. I'm pumped. Let's talk a little bit about some moves I'm thinking about making. It seems to be that in order to make a trade, we talked about trade last, last week, but in order to make a trade, you're going to have to improve your XP with your coach. I hit a little 10 run there, so 
as you see McFadden's up to 72 yards already on nine carries. He's rumbling, stumbling, bumbling. He's running over everyone. Nice stiff arm that dude. I level him to the floor. You think you're going to stop McFadden? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> but anyways, we talked a little bit about trades last week. It turns out that in order to get a decent trade, you're going to have to invest some XP into a trade package with your coach in order to get that attribute. So we're at 6,000 right now, and I think I can pull out maybe 4,000 XP a week. So maybe by week six, when we face off against the Chiefs, we're going to make some trade. We're going to make a big trade. So I'm thinking, guys, who are we going to get? We need a quarterback. We need a better quarterback. I've said before that I'm thinking a running quarterback, a Kaepernick, even an RG3 who we're facing off to against today. You see here, I don't know that read option. It's beautiful. We score another touchdown. So we're up, guys. We're going to be up 24 to 7 now. And Trail Pryor is going to spike that ball because he's a bad man. <laughs> but I'm thinking we need to get a quarterback maybe. And I might even make two trades in order to improve my roster. I might get a quarterback or I might get a linebacker. If you've noticed, I stick to a middle linebacker all time, at all times when I'm on defense. I failed there epically and I dived to the side and I just got trashed. And I do the same thing again there. I'm just diving all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing. So they're breaking away. You're not going anywhere. I'm too fast for you. I'm going to catch up to you. And I stop them at like the nine yard line. So I'm thinking maybe a linebacker. I'm thinking, you know, the, um, 49ers. The 49ers have a great pair of linebackers. They have Patrick Willis and I think Navarro or something is the, is the other one. And they're, they run a 3-4 base defense. And in this game, Patrick Willis is like a 99. We're not going to get him. But we may be able to get Navarro or well, I don't remember his name. And he's like a 90 overall. So we can make a trade. We can get that going. You'll see here, guys, the third quarter is coming to a close. I think maybe... Hopefully, next week we'll consider getting a trade in and look at our options, look at who we can trade. It was third and long. I hit that fade over the top. I'm crushing, crushing Robert Griffin in the yardage category. I have 203 yards. And you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's ground and pound time. We're going to drain the clock. We're going to make sure they have no chance at a comeback. They, they We're up by two possessions. So we need to drain the clock. We need to get that going. I hit play action here. And I should have hit circle. I should have hit the streak. That would have been perfect. We would have gone up by another touchdown. So we're giving them the ball back. And I'm hoping, I'm praying that we don't let them score. We can't let them score, guys. We can't. So they hit that. On second and 10, they're going to get a big gain because basically I can't tackle. My team can't tackle. And I could improve the secondary. But overall, we need some linemen. We need some linebackers. We need stuff like that. I mentioned before, and I was going for the interception there, but he hits that, and I, I screwed up. I screwed up. Forgive me, guys. Forgive me. So now I'm crapping myself. As always, I'm scared. It's coming down to the wire. We're only up by three, and there's six minutes basically left. I'm thinking, you know, Frosty, we got this. We got McFadden. We got the monster in the backfield. I should have cut it up the middle. But we had McFadden. So I'm just going to hand off the rock, and I'm going to let magic happen. He runs that dude over. He's like a freaking steamroller out there just running people over. You see, I'm averaging like five yards a carry right now. I'm just busting off first downs. Right. After, again, after, again and again. And then I decided, you know what? Let's put Reese back there. Let's give the big hog molly, the lion, or the full whack, the ball. Let's give Reese the ball and see what he can do. <laughs> and he gets us 10 yards. You see, McFadden was injured, but it didn't really, it didn't really matter because he came back. It was only like a minor sprain or something like that. So we put Jennings in. I'm not afraid. McFadden comes back in. We're, we're ready. We're just, we're just ready. Or no, it's right here that I think McFadden gets injured. Yeah, McFadden gets injured here, and he, he's all right. He's fine. Don't worry. Don't fret. We're gonna give it to Jennings. We're gonna get another touchdown. Count it, guys. That's three. Touchdowns on the ground. Three. With that one long pass, we scored four touchdowns, and we've had one interception and one field goal. So we we run the turnover battle. We're winning right now, 31 to 21 against the Redskins. And guys, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys right now. 
that's the deciding factor pretty much. There's no hope for them now. As they hit a little fade again, they hit that go route. I, don't know, I think it might be a streak. I don't remember. I'm not a wide receiver. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to win this game. We're going to go up 4 to nothing in this season. This season we're 4-0 is what I meant. We're 4-0. We have a win streak with the Raiders. And the only thing we can do from now is go up. We can only improve from here. So we need to get a quarterback. I thought I was going to get another interception. But the Madden football gods said no. So there's a minute left. It happens to be that they try to get the, um, the first down here. They don't get it. So they kick the field goal. They sell for the field goal. I know it's coming. They're going to try for that cheap onside kick. They're going to try to get the ball back real quick and make this a game. But my tight end says no. No. So we had a great running game, a terrific running game. I'm trying to burn their timeouts right here. I'm trying to get them to waste them. You see, I've gotten two down. And then it's third and 11. I'm thinking, oh, God, we need to get this. And then I take off with Trail Pryor. It was a QB draw. And now we won. It's official. We officially won the game. So now it's just time to need the ball. You see here, Darren McFadden has 165 yards rushing with one touchdown on 27 attempts. We need to keep that going next week when we face the Chargers. Go, Chargers, go! Stay frosty, guys.